Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about the Christmas event in Dying Light. So Techland just announced a community event for Christmas and in this video I'm going to help you guys finish this community quest and I'm going to tell you how to get all the rewards easily. So basically there is a new weapon out that's called Frost Handler which is a cool reskin of Blade of Auto weapon and it looks cool no doubt and the fact that the skin glows in dark it actually makes it more special. The damage on the weapon is not that much but it has a really cool freezing effect that freezes virals, biters, volatiles and bolters. Pretty much freezes everything. Now in order to participate in the community event you will need to go to your quest section and choose one of the personal quests. So choose the quest that tells you to collect 20 presents. Now on PC the quest is kinda glitched so the text here is missing but I assume it should be fine on PS4 and Xbox One. So go ahead and select the personal quest. As you can see on the right side, the details are there for the quest. So go ahead and select the one that gives you Frost Handler weapon. So in this community event, what you're supposed to do is go around the map and look for these blue bolters that rarely spawn in the old town only, by the way. And you're supposed to hunt them, collect the presents from their body by searching them. And uh, it's going to be a bit time consuming because they rarely spawn and... You gotta go find them, kill them, it's gonna take a really long time. So for you guys only, I have this really small, simple trick. So basically what you can do is go ahead and collect disaster relief packages. Because disaster relief packages actually count as presents. So you can go to any quarantine zone in the map, basically any quarantine zone will work. Go ahead and do the quarantine zone, collect disaster relief packages and you are good to go. So collect 20 disaster relief packages and I'll recommend you go to slums, stuff total because it's the easiest and the fastest quarantine zone. Just go ahead and do the quarantine zone four times. Follow the map location, this is for the new players who don't know where the location is. So go to this location and make sure you have the quest selected when you're doing the quarantine zone. Once you get 20 disaster relief packages in your inventory, you will be granted the frost handler weapon. Now, you can add kings of clickers to it and add bolt of poison to it to do additional damage. By the way, you will be getting your rewards in your inventory and in case if your inventory is full, it will be going to your stash. Now this was the personal quest, so let's look at the community quest now. The community in total needs to collect 2.5 million presents and once done, everyone will be getting a snowball blueprint. Pretty cool. By the way, this is not the end. What I just told you was just week one. The week one actually starts from today, 21st December and ends on 28th December. After 20th December, phase two will start, which will be the week two. The second week starts from 20th December and will end on 4 Jan 2021. In the second week, you will be awarded an holiday outfit, which in my opinion, is a pretty cool outfit and it's gonna be your personal quest. The community reward will be the Grandma's Eggnog Blueprint. So another cool blueprint which I'm sure already everyone has. Now about the quest, we don't really know what quest we are going to get so we are supposed to wait till 28th December to know what exactly the quest is. And that's only going to happen when the week one ends. So guys hurry up and claim this awesome weapon Frost Handler before the week one ends. It's very limited so go ahead and do it fast. As I mentioned before, do the quarantine zone, only takes 10 minutes or less if you do it faster. Do the stuff total and get 20 disaster leave packages, you are good to go. Now, a few more details for people who are new to this game. So during this community event, you will take zero fall damage. You can jump from pretty much any height and not die. Also, your grappling hook range is double now. It has unlimited grappling hook and basically you have no cooldown. So we can be Spider-Man. And finally, you can also pull a zombies towards yourself. So by pressing and holding the grappling button on zombies, you can pull them towards yourself. Also, when you roam around the map, you will see some Christmas themed zombies. So you can go and kill them and search their body for Christmas candies that actually have weird effects on you when you actually consume them. So guys, that's basically the community event. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Good night and good luck.